friends, this is my end of January grocery haul, and this is everything that I got at Walmart, and I again used the pickup service, and I'm really loving that. It makes my life so much easier and less stressful. So let's go ahead and get started with the non-food items first. I needed quite a few different um, colors of yarn because I am working on a project, and I ran out. I didn't have any of this color at all, and I ran out of the other three colors. I also ran out of white, but Walmart did not have white, so I had to run over to Joann Fabrics real quick and pick up some white. Now I have enough yarn to f finish my afghan that I'm working on. I needed a new liner for the shower. It's time to deep clean my shower again, and I always just change the liner out and throw the old one away. I needed a new kitchen rug. Now, as far as my no buy year goes, this is still within the rules that I set for myself because I am replacing the rug I have in my kitchen. The current rug I have in there got ruined. I don't know what happened. Something got on it that's bright red and I cannot get it to come out. So I'm gonna use that for, you know, in the entryway or for the dog water bowls or something something where I don't care <laughs> if it's you know gets ruined even further and so I replaced it and I decided to just go ahead and get a nicer rug I got one of the pioneer woman ones because I was just afraid because the rug that I have in my kitchen currently was a cheap one it was like a five dollar rug and when I went through the wash that's when this red stain appeared on it and also it got really bally and so it just it didn't wash well and so I decided instead of getting another cheap rug that would probably do the same thing I went ahead and got a nicer one so I went ahead and got the Pioneer Woman one so that's the explanation behind the Pioneer Woman rug. I got some of this Pioneer Woman shelf liner. This is for a DIY. I will be uh, that video will be coming out. In fact you will have already seen that video before you see this grocery haul. So that's what that was for. I got this shelf liner to repair um, one of the computer desks downstairs that's all uh, messed up. I'm just going to put some wood grained contact paper on it to um, cover it up and make it look nicer. I got some more of these Pledge multi-surface wipes. I really like these. I got some more of the wet mopping cloths that I use with my regular Swiffer, not my wet jet. I got some more shampoo and conditioner. I like to keep this um, stocked up. Olivia and I have long hair and so it takes a lot of shampoo and conditioner. I got some more body wash. And I got some more of this hair oil. I love to use this on my hair and my bottle I have is almost all gone. I got some more of these clackers. I love to use these better than regular dental floss. I like these much better. And I'm down to like, I think I have five left. <laughs> I got some more of this um, antibacterial kitchen soap. Like I said, I'm not going to be purchasing anything from Bath and Body Works this year. So I am switching to store-bought hand soap like Walmart hand soap, I should say. I have some more of these gas relief tablets. These are very helpful with my IBS. And these are only 88 cents a bottle, so that's nice. I got two packs, uh, two things of this um, baking powder. And one of them is aluminum free and the other one isn't. That's weird, but that's okay. I try to usually get the aluminum free kind and I'm planning on making up some pancake mix and I needed quite a bit of baking powder so that's why I got two of those. I got two cans of golden mushroom soup. I actually had beefy mushroom soup on my list but they had to substitute this which is fine because there's still no dairy in golden mushroom soup. I got five cans of green beans which I could have swore I only ordered Four. I'll have to go back and look at my my order and see, but that's okay. We will use them. 
two cans of Rotel tomatoes, two cans of organic pinto beans, and two cans of organic um, tri-bean blend. I got some soy sauce, and this is another thing. I could have swore I ordered the low-sodium kind, but they gave me the regular, which is all right. It's not a, not a big deal, but I, I think that might have been a mistake, but not a drastic mistake. I got some more miniature marshmallows for Lucy when we give her her infusion. I got some one thing of unsalted chicken broth. This is for Lucy's dog food. I got some more of these chow mein noodles. Travis's birthday is coming up, and he wants Chinese food, so I'm starting to slowly buy what I need for his birthday. So that's what this is for. Got two of these boxes of Kind Breakfast Bars. This is the peanut butter dark, and this is the dark chocolate cocoa. These are for um, Scott to take in his lunch for a snack. They are lower in carbs. Five pound bag of all-purpose flour. I normally buy the organic flour, but they did not have any, so I just had to get the regular. Um, this is the margarine that Olivia and I can eat, so I got some more of that. I got three of my um, yogurts, my vanilla dairy-free yogurts. Four of my coffee creamers. I have not been drinking as much coffee. I probably drink coffee once a week right now, but I do still like to put creamer in my tea. So that's why I went ahead and just got four more. Plus Olivia has been drinking coffee more lately. I just got one half gallon of the unsweetened cashew milk. I still have a half a gallon in the refrigerator downstairs. So I only just needed one this time. I got a pound of ground beef. This is for Lucy's dog food. Got some whole wheat spaghetti. This is just for the pantry. I got this three pound package of ground turkey. I'm planning on making a meatloaf and I like to cut my the ground pork with the ground turkey when I make meatloaf. It's less fatty, it's lighter, and I think it just tastes better. I got two boxes of these whole wheat elbow Pastas. These are also for Lucy's dog food. Two bags of the turkey meatballs. I, as long as they have these in stock, I'm going to buy a bag every time I shop because I love these. And they went for months and months and months, probably close to a year, and they didn't have them in stock. So I am going to stock up on those. Got a bag of seasoned french fries. These are for our dinner tonight. We're going to have the family is going to have these country fried steaks. I cannot eat beef, so I will have a chicken patty instead. I got two bags of frozen mixed vegetables, organic. Two bags of Brussels sprouts. Our whole family likes Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts minus Travis. He does not like them. I got this Foca uh, laundry detergent. I love this stuff. It's very affordable. It works really well. Smells good. Great stuff. Got some more of these Purex crystals. I love to use these in the laundry. And then I got Scott his light prune juice. So that is everything I got at Walmart. Get this put away and I will show you what I got at Aldi. This is everything I picked up from Aldi. I needed some more sugar, so I got some sugar and I always like to get the organic sugar. I needed some more of my peanut butter powder, so I, they had this there. This isn't one of their um, items that they have all the time, so when they do have it, I like to pick it up because it is the best price around. Um, here are some snacks for Scott, zero carb and low carb snacks. We discovered that pork rinds are zero carbs, and he likes them. I think they're gross, but he likes them. So I got him two of the hot and spicy and two of the original. He said the only problem with them is that he can sit down and finish off a bag in two days. So he just needs to do the portion control, but he's getting really tired of just meat and cheese for snacks. He was really missing chips. So they're not the best for you. They're still junk food, but they are zero carbs. Got him some more of these turkey sausages. He likes these. And these are less than one carb. So yeah, 
pretty much zero carbs with those. And I got him some more of this trail mix. You have to be careful with trail mix because a lot of trail mixes have uh, chocolate in them and, and like little candies. And in those cases, it's very high in carbs. This has still got carbs in it because it has dried fruit, but it is a better option. And like I said, we are not going carb free. We are going low carb. I picked up two of these squeezable garlics. They are very handy to have. You can keep them in the cupboard until you open them and then you have to keep them in the refrigerator. But I go through garlic quickly, so these are really nice to have in the cupboard. I picked up this wax melt warmer. It's one that you plug into the, an outlet. And the reason I did that is because in the kids' bathroom, I currently have one of those wallflowers from Bath and Body Works. And it has the last little fragrance pod in it. And once that's gone, I don't have any more. And I like to have some sort of fragrance in their bathroom. So I picked this up. They had it for, I think it was $4.99, which is really a good price. It's very pretty. It looks like stained glass. And I always have wax melts on hand. So in the long run, this will save me money. I picked up some spinach. This is for Artie the Cockatiel. Got some organic pink lady apples. I got some navel oranges. I picked up some more avocado, and these I'm going to use, um, once they get ripe, I'm going to cut them up, dice them up, freeze them on a cookie sheet, and then put them in a freezer bag and store them in the freezer because they are excellent in smoothies. I had heard people say about putting avocado in smoothies, and it kind of, the whole idea of it was like yuck, but I tried it the other day, and it is so good. You don't even taste the avocado. It just assumes the flavor of whatever your smoothie is, but it adds a really nice creamy texture to your smoothie. So I still have two avocados in the refrigerator from my last shopping trip. Those are probably ready to use. These are a little bit firmer, but I'm going to leave them out on the counter and I'm going to chop them all up for the freezer for smoothies. I got some organic uh, peppers. These are also for tra for um, specifically for Scott to use to dip as a to dip in salsa and in place of chips. Like I said, he's really missing his crunchy <laughs> the crunchy foods. So I got him some of those. Got some organic bananas, and then I got these oranges. I have never ever tasted a blood orange. These were a really good price. I think it was $3 and something for this uh, bag. And I thought I would like to try them. So I picked up some blood oranges. Got some graham crackers because we were completely out. Got some cornstarch. I'm going to need this for, um, what do I need that for? Oh, when I make uh, Travis's birthday pie. He wants chocolate cream pie. For his birthday instead of a cake and I need cornstarch for that. I got two boxes of organic mac and cheese, regular mac and cheese and shells and cheese. These are for Travis for lunches. Two bags of tortilla chips. Um, three can three um, bottles of tomato juice for Scott. He loves that stuff. I got some organic pinto beans, two cans organic kidney beans, two cans. I needed black beans, they didn't have any. So I got the kidney beans instead. This is something Olivia and I wanted to try. It's a um, sparkling water. This is the lemon flavor. And I love the bottle. But the bottle would make an awesome DIY. And then we got this, which is cucumber mint. So I'm gonna taste the lemon was my my choice. This was Olivia's choice, but we're gonna taste. She's gonna let me taste hers, and I'll let her taste mine. Four cans of chicken broth, a thing of organic sunflower oil. This is what we use for making popcorn. Some hot salsa. I like the hot kind. Um, Olivia wanted to try this, and it was on clearance, so I said, "Sure, why not?" Organic strawberry watermelon juice. 
These are little individual serving sizes of guacamole. I got this the last time I got the classic and I only got one box because I wasn't sure if the family would like it and everybody loved it. So I ended up getting two boxes this time and I wanted to try the home style because it's the medium spiciness and that's the mild. So two boxes of those. I got two, ba uh, two packages of hard salami. These are for lunches as well as some ham. I got bacon because bacon is good. I got some of these steakums because they are zero carbs and I figured Scott could use them for whatever, lunches or whatever he wants to use them for. Two half gallons of organic 2% milk, two uh, pints of half and half. Scott uses that in his coffee. Two jugs of the chocolate caramel coffee creamer for Travis and Scott. Oh my, all this frozen food yet to do. I picked up this mozzarella, it's already shredded because I found a recipe to make crackers, low carb, no carb crackers made with mozzarella cheese, almond flour, and a couple of other ingredients. So I thought I would give it a try and I bought the already shredded kind just to save time. Got some cheese sticks for Scott to snack on. Got two packs of these uncured turkey franks. I tried these last time. They're really, really good and they did not upset my stomach. Got a pound of butter. These are Olivia's lunch choices. She's got some of these meatballs. She got some of these meatballs. They're okay all by themselves, but she made spaghetti with them a couple nights ago, and they were actually really tasty in spaghetti sauce. On their own, I wasn't real thrilled about them, but she likes them. She got some of these plant-based meatless burgers. She got some of these veggie Thai burgers, and she wanted to try this uh, vegan, oh, it's not vegan, it's just uh, meatless spaghetti. Now, she is not a vegetarian, she's not a vegan, she just has a dairy issue, and if it's vegan, then there's no dairy in it. So that's why she buys a lot of vegan choices. I got a um, pork roast. This is just for dinners. This will feed us for two dinners. I picked up some of these butterfly shrimp. This is to go with Travis's birthday dinner. We're going to have shrimp and um, Asian food like mandarin orange chicken, stir fry, that kind of stuff. I got four bags of broccoli. Scott is eating a lot more vegetables lately because of the low carb thing. Two bags of the beef and bean burritos. These are for Travis's lunches. I got three bags of the frozen mixed vegetables and one bag of frozen peas. Like I said, Scott is eating a lot more vegetables, which is a good thing. I got a frozen pizza for Travis for lunches. I got these big marking pins. Olivia wanted them. They were on clearance, and I said, sure, but I get at least one of them. <laughs> Two boxes of Kleenex, or tissues. Um, some tabs for the dishwasher, dishwasher tabs. Two packs of paper plates and a pack of paper towels. And then we have all of the bread. I got a loaf of white bread for Lucy's dog food. Hamburger buns to go with our meal tonight. And I got all these bagels, the everything bagels for Travis for breakfast. The plain bagels are for me for breakfast. And then I found these cranberry orange breakfast rounds. So I thought I would try those. They sounded really good. And they also had pizza flavored bagels, which these are awesome to use to make little individual pizzas with. All right, that is everything I picked up at Aldi. I'll get this put away and I'll show you what I got at Kroger. And Kroger is quite a large haul this time. Here's everything I picked up at Kroger and I also, down at the end, have some things that I picked up from Martin's, which we'll get to that when I get to the end of the table. But we'll start here. I picked up two bags of organic carrots and also the Kroger and the Martin's also have the um, order online pickup. So these are from a pickup um, service. So anyway, I got two bags of organic carrots and a bag of organic 
celery. I'm going to chop these all up into carrot sticks and celery sticks for uh, Scott to munch on. I got a bag of um, organic potatoes and also these, are, you know, not just Scott, anybody. I got some of this Coca-Cola Life. It's sweetened with cane sugar and stevia, so it has half the calories. Mm. Um, I mainly got it because I needed the bottles for a DIY that I'm planning on for the future, but also because Coca-Cola is really good. <laughs> Picked up some more Zevia. This is the cream soda kind. I am cutting back on my carbonated be beverages. I know it doesn't look like it in this particular shot, but if I drink one carbonated beverage a week, this will last me a long time and it won't tear up my stomach. I got four of these blueberry yogurts. I got these last time just to try and they are so super good. So I got four of those. I got some more dairy-free cheese, the slices, American slices, mozzarella, and this time I picked up some cheddar. I think that would be good in tacos. Not that I'm making tacos anytime soon, but just to have on hand. This cheese freezes really well. Picked up quite a bit of cereal. Um, I got some of this Mom's Best Honey Nut Toasty O's. This was a replacement. I had a different variety from Mom's Best Chosen, but it doesn't really matter. This is fine. Got some of the Cocoa Crispy Rice. This is um, one that I just wanted to try, and I also have an Ibotta app coupon for, was the Cinnamon Toast Cr Crunch <laughs> Churros. And Olivia especially loves churros, but so she might really like that. I got some of the Chocolate Peanut Butter uh, Simply Truth, and some of this Love Crunch Granola. This stuff is really good. I want to show you, Olivia peeled one of those blood oranges. Ooh, look at that open it up and then like break one of the um ooh, almost looks kind of creepy it does look like blood looks creepy now bite like bite it in half so we can see the inside cool how are they they're kind of tart tart uh, i don't know i probably won't like them i don't like tart oranges kids will like them though they like tart stuff I've got some more of these dark chocolate chip waffles. Olivia loves those. And then I picked up some bread. The oat nut is for Scott. And then I got the rustic white for whoever else wants to have bread. And it's organic, by the way. And then this is what I picked up from Martin's. It's the only store in our neighborhood that has this stuff. This is Cool Whip made out of coconut milk, so it's dairy-free. It's really, really, really good. And since I don't go to Martin's often, I went ahead and just got four tubs of it. It will last us a really long time. I had bought some before Thanksgiving, and we just used the last of it last week. So it lasts us a really long time. And then I picked up some uh, dairy-free cream cheese and some dairy-free sour cream. And that is everything I picked up from Kroger and Martin's. All right, friends, that is my end of January grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I am really, really loving, I don't think I can say it enough times, how much I'm loving that order online pickup service. We had to go to six stores today and we got home in, let's see, we left at 10.30, we got, home at, we got home at one, about two and a half hours. And that's including a half an hour drive there and a half an hour drive home. So I'm loving it. So an hour and a half, stopped at six stores, got everything I needed. Yeehaw, I'm loving it. And really quickly, I wanted to share with you this top. Um, Travis got this for me for Christmas. Full disclosure, he gave me a gift card and I picked it out. But I keep telling him, this is what you got me for Christmas. You've got, got such good taste, Travis. And of course, I got it at Kato, but I love it. It's so cute. All right, friends, thanks so much for watching, and we will talk to you later. Bye-bye.